Hey everyone, welcome to my website creation tutorial number three. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sign up uh, with a new hosting account. And uh, for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to use hostgator.com. Right now, what you see on your screen is the hostgator.com the website. Once you're on the website, what you want to do is uh, to click on view web hosting plans. This will bring you to another page where they will show you the different uh, HostGator plans that is being offered by HostGator. Now, before the video, I have already decided what I want to go with. So I'm going to choose uh, for my demonstration the baby plan, all right? And I'm going to uh, go with a monthly plan. Of course, for yourself, uh, you should uh, decide which plan and which uh, payment mode you want to go with. Once it's decided, all right, uh, click on order now. Okay, that should bring you to the next page that says step one, choose a domain. Now, if you don't already have a new domain name, go ahead here and fill in your domain name to sign up for a new domain. But as with lesson two, we have bought a new domain using google.com. So in this case, I am going to enter the new domain right here, which is bestseomarketing.com. Okay, once you're done, continue to step two. All right, in step two, this is where you need to fill in your username and your security pin and uh, fill in all your billing information. All right, now, after the billing information, there's something called the hosting add-ons. All right, these are upsells that HostGator is suggesting to you. One is the site lock and the other one is the GoMobi Mobile. Okay, for the site lock, actually, if you want to, uh, uh, secure a website you can go ahead and uh, add the site lock all right for fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents per year but for the purpose of demonstration I'm not going to add this into my package the next one is go mobi mobile website builder now if you are going to build a website using WordPress then I suggest that you leave this option off you don't really need the go mobi mob mobile website builder because uh, WordPress has been really optimized to work on the handphones as well as tablets so it's not uh, something that uh, you need to add a feature to okay once everything is done check that uh, the um, order is correct and then click on I have read and agree to the terms and conditions and hit on create account Now, as you can see, I have chosen to use PayPal to uh, to pay for my HostGator account. So the, right now, what you want to do is uh, click on Pay Now and then fill in all your uh, necessary information. Now, once I've made my payment using PayPal, there's a link on PayPal to click to come back to HostGator. Once I click on the link, it's going to redirect me to this page that says thank you for enrolling your card to be built in your local currency. Or in some cases, you may receive a confirmation uh, on your screen that says that the payment is being processed. Now, the next step that you're going to do is to check your email. The email that you have used to sign up for your uh, web host account. And uh, within the inbox, you should look for some um, email that says hostgator.com your account info what it is going to give you is the um, login to your billing system as well as your username and password and the most important thing your name servers now the name servers are the ones that we're gonna use to link it up with your domain but that's for another lesson so once you have received that email it's a confirmation that uh, your account has been set up by HostGator so that means you are done and uh, that's all for the lesson right now and I will see you in the next video bye for now